Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. We have the August monthly haul. So our last few monthly hauls have been legit wild. Like so, so many boxes. So we're gonna tone it down a little bit. I've got just a few of my favorites. Uh, ones I hadn't even planned on showing you that I'm gonna sneak in and a few like OGs that I haven't shared in a while that have come back and a couple of brand new. So if you're new here on the first of every month, we grab a myriad of boxes, we open them together and we discuss whether we're liking them or not. Some of them are oldies, but goodies and we're giving them thumbs ups or thumbs down, really a thumbs down if they stuck around, you know what I mean? But we also do like to introduce and play with new boxes uh, so we can start keeping an eye on them. So. I wanna start here as I've seen what's inside and my daughter's super ready to have her box. So this is Once Upon a Book Club middle school book subscription box. So I have been subscribed to Once Upon a Book Club and I love it. I genuinely think it's one of the better book subscription boxes out there. Well, semi-recently, I think this is maybe like month three-ish, they released a middle grade edition for kids. So of course I had to get it for my daughter. This box is monthly at $43.99, free US shipping. Use code TPE for 10% off the first box in your subscription. And it's a kid's book subscription that brings the book to life by giving you gifts you open as you read. Gifts are customizable to the book, so you feel like you're part of the story. Target age, seven to 12 years old. It is gender neutral. So my daughter has opened a few of these and she has loved every single one of them. In fact, my younger daughter, who doesn't even enjoy reading, now is trying to like place dibs on the box. We're still thinking about it. My oldest loves to read, so I hate to take this from her. One of the things I love that Once Upon a Book Club as a company does is on the YA and adult subscriptions, they give you a hint about the upcoming month's box. And I think with the middle school, they just give you the title of the book. If you take a look at it and you're like, no, that's not really a match for me, you can just send them an email and they'll skip the month for you. It's very easy. Their customer service is very, very good. Uh, so with, with Summer and us traveling, there's been a few boxes I haven't had sent to me because I know we aren't gonna be here to be able to use them. So remember that if you're ever like going through and you are trying to decide if a box is a fit for you, skipping in customer service with this one is great. On top, you always have this guy, which is filled with the various goodies. There's always a bookmark and it has different things on it. So this one is a kindness challenge and it has a challenge on there as well as a quote for your kiddo. This talks about the book that they are reading and here is her sticker that she can add to her collection. Um, there is like a booklet you get in your very first box. I doubt there's one in here because she already has it. And oh, here we go, the book passport. And you add your booklet stickers for each one that you read, it's really, really cool. And you can just take a look at this whole like theme. See the animal print here? As soon as I saw the cover, I was like, oh yeah, this is a good one for Emma. Uh, cardstock, colorable art that they can color and then hang. And then here, let's see. Hey, Emma, come here real quick. Got a microphone on? Yeah. yeah? Okay, come sit down for a sec. Okay. You're never here when we open these. No. So I thought you should be a part of this one. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. So, unbox. Oh my gosh. So this is what I see normally before I open your box, before you see it. <laughs> what? <laughs> so she's got gift. It says open on page 83. And then she has the other gift that says open on page 30. And then there's one more gift. I think the kids' boxes come with three gifts. This one says what? Open on page 221. Aww, and then here is your book. Show off your book. Let me see if I can see through it. Um, oh, it's called Leopard Behind the Moon. It looks like a fun book. It looks very you when I saw the cover of it. Yeah, it does. Do you want to go ahead and open your gifts just so you can show everybody? Yes. You can open in advance. <laughs> I never let her open them in advance. Do you have any skizzers in here? I do. Ooh, box cutter, even better. What you got in there? This one says open on page 30. A singing frog. Oh, it has a case. That's pretty. So do I, oh. No. Do you hear it? Yes. Probably get it off the counter. It'd probably do better if it was near. <laughs> I 
love that. That's pretty good. I okay. love this thing. So there's got to be a frog or a frog sound or something related to that in this book. I am going to keep this. That is so very you. How do I get it back in? Oh, you can just set it on top. Okay, there you go. I love that. I'm keeping it before I read it. Yeah. Okay, this one is page 83. I yeah. love the box on this one. I thought it was 38 because it was backwards. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you know what to do with that? Yeah, it's a cheetah wood bangy thing. Like, there you go. I love these. <laughs> You're gonna hear me riveting and doing this all. I night. love it. Wow, that's loud. That's so loud. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it says in here, it's a handheld drum. Hold the stick of the drum between your two flat palms and move back and forth. And I think the box is cool. I could see you saving the box and using it for something. Yes, I bet you can. Oh, a rubber band flying bird. What? Show, wait, let's show them this real quick. So this is what it says. And on the back, there's a QR code with instructions. Let's see if we pull it open real quick and show them. If not, I'll just have to find something later. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, it's like uh, tacked to the side so it wouldn't get bent up in shipping. Okay. Oh, I think these are birds. They're supposed to be birds. Oh, that's pretty. I mean, it's got all the pieces to make a bird of some sort. Is this the same bird? Two different birds? I guess we'll have to follow the instructions. I don't know, but like... And then all of the gifts, once again, have something to do with the book. So that is super, super cool. And I noticed the back of the book has a retail value of $17. So if you are trying to get your kid into reading, this might be a great way to get them to start reading because they get a gift throughout the book. Or I if you already love stick. reading, you... Oh, it's not supposed to stick. Oh, pull it. Like it's two different birds? Yeah. Oh yeah, you figured it out. I did. So here are the wings. Like, look. Oh, and there's, I think you attach a tail or something. Oh, I bet. Birds do have tails. That's cool. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Well, you want to gather it up and take it to your room? Yes, I do. Okay. I'll take that. Go have fun. <laughs> she always wants to do that part and is never home because I usually film when she's at school, but it's summer time, so she got to sneak in. That was fun. Okay, this next box is brand new to the channel. Mind game of the month. It used to be called Poffect, like a dog paw, Poffect Potties. <laughs> it's really cute. But she just rebranded, so you might actually know who this box is. It is $44.99 monthly, free US shipping. Use the code pink envelope for 20% off your first box on a subscription. And the Mind Game of the Month is a research-based subscription box designed to tire out your dog. Your pup will sniff, play, and chew their way through products in the box. Mind Game of the Month tries to find innovative and durable products to include in their boxes, plus they donate a dollar per box to a local animal shelter for each box sold. I feel like you need this box for dogs and toddlers. <laughs> the box, it tires them out. Okay, here is what I see on top when I open the box. I don't even know if this is a spoiler or not. I might be showing you a spoiler. Just in case, I'm gonna say it's a spoiler because I don't exactly know. A tired pup is a happy pup and here are three activities to make them nice and tired. We have an E-mat with bone shapes on them, and it's made for licking, which is soothing and calms your dog. I do not have a dog, but this is pretty stinking cool. I feel like my kids would even <laughs> like this. It says how to use your mat, spread your pet's favorite soft treat across the surface of the e-mat, ensuring the treat is pushed down into the surface of the mat. Peanut butter, canned pet food, cream cheese, yogurt, crushed treats, moistened with water, and more are suitable. BPA free. I think that's brilliant. Once again, I feel like you could give this to a toddler and it would work pretty much the same. Oh my gosh, how cool. And then we have 
Well, he's cute. A toughy, extremely durable toy. Seven rows of stitching, three layers of material, protective webbing, and squeaker. <coughs> so the big part has a squeaker, <coughs> as do the eyeballs. This guy is super crazy, and he's like heavy. He seems very, very durable. I don't know anything about dog toys, but I know I have seen this brand in the pet store a lot. We go to Petco and Petland and all those often for our lizards and such, and this is often hanging in there. So it makes me assume that those would be pretty good, pretty durable. Bacon Nutty Training Bites that are wheat free with all natural ingredients. Very, very cool. There's a lot of stuff in here. The only sweet potato chews a dog needs all natural. So you got chews in here, and it does say it's for all size pups. And then the, look at this guy. Oh my gosh, does it roll and your dog can chase it? You totally could give that to a kid and they would love it. How cool is that? Are you supposed to put like, Look in here, see this right here? It looks like you put treats inside. Like, could you put these treats inside this guy? His mask closes, and then there's a little hole right there, almost as if once he leans forward, occasionally he'll drop a treat out. Am I getting that correct? Feel, so it's on the back of this thing, it says fill the robot with the Bacon and Nutty Treats. This is an inventive slow feeder that will challenge your dog to use his or her nose and paws to knock around the robot to loosen the treats. This is the mind game. Fill the mind game, press your thumb against the mask to close it, and it will become a fun challenge for your dog to sniff out. Mind game of the month. Sniff, play, chew. Chasing this around will exhaust him. Chasing this around will exhaust them. Licking this will exhaust them. I got it. How cool. Very intention filled. The products look great. If you guys have tried this box, lean in. If you are a pet parent and you're liking this box, lean in. As a, someone who doesn't have a dog, it's easy for me to give it a thumbs up based on just value and quality, but you guys would know if it really would work. To me, it looks like this is excellent. If you wanna give it a try, go down below and grab that coupon code uh, and then loop back and let us know what you think of your box. Let's grab eczema sample. So this is an oldie but a goodie. I haven't opened it in a while. I don't particularly know why, but it is a skincare subscription, but it's based for people with eczema and sensitive skin. And the owner who curates, curates it has eczema. So she like is on her A game with this. It is quarterly at only $49 a quarter and they do offer prepaid discounts. Shipping is free here in the US and you can use the code pink love to get $10 off your first box in a subscription. And it is for individuals of all ages with sensitive skin and eczema to help them discover products that their skin loves so they don't spend tons of money buying full size products that they can't use and don't work. And so the point of this is she sends you a bunch of samples as well as a list where you can use the product and then rank it. Then all you have to do is save this. You don't have to save a bunch of bottles. And you will use this and you can even scan the back here for tips and tricks to find the products that are the best match for you. So as a sensitive skin person, it's really easy for me to find products in here because everything in here is sensitive skin. With eczema, it's gonna be a little bit trickier. So you may pull out a product, use it for a little bit, find it doesn't match for you, mark it as a one or two star and pass it to a friend. That is what is so nice about this. It's affordable and it's easy. And the point is to introduce you to products that you didn't know existed that could totally be a life-saving product. So this is a Derma Cream Med Dovey. Am I saying that right? And it looks like it's full size. And then here is a Derma Skin Care Shampoo, Body Wash, and Intensive Cream. But this is a sample pack of three, so you can give that a try. Also, it'd be great for traveling. Nature made with fresh Canadian goat milk. Oh my gosh, that would be really good for me. Obviously, fragrance free. This is, oh, Pipette, that's a great brand, by the way. Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50, yes, yes, yes. So for me, like, 
automatically. I, I don't know about those. I need to try those. These are both major yeses. This product is amazing. Y'all, I would show you my heels, but I just went in and got a massage over at Squeeze Massage. Oh, they're brand new in San Antonio. I love them. But y'all, I forget that I run around barefoot and that my heels literally crack open till they bleed. And I didn't clean up my heels and went in there. And when he was massaging my feet, I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. So when I got back from my massage, I busted this out and rectified the situation. Ooh, I don't even know what this is. Wrist roller, mini foam roller. I wonder if it belongs to a product. I have no idea. We can look in a second. True Lipids Boo Boo and Bum Bomb. So like a diaper cream or a rash cream. Excellent, excellent. This looks full size, so does this. Codex Beauty Lab Bio Hydrating Skin Superfood. Excellent. This one is the Lumion Skin Miracle Mist. We got Cetaphil Eczema. I just used it on uh, my rashes I get on my belly, wherever those come from. That works great. Uh, I, I don't know how to say this brand. I think it's clear, like clean and clear or clean and pure. There it is, clean and pure. Uh, but I have a few shampoos and conditioners from them. It works good. It's not like this really great curly girl product, but if my hair gets built up and it's starting, my scalp's getting itchy and it needs to be clean cleaned, this stuff is great. Suntegrity Mineral Sunscreen in SPF 30, 100% yes. Obviously this is a summer box. We can tell by the products inside. And then she gives all of these information on all of these different products. So as you're using them, you can look more into them and order more if you like it. Once again, what I say this was $49. And I think we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full size and four sample size. And I don't know what this is, but if we had time and this was a dedicated unboxing, I would scan this and we would dive in. But for now, I'm sure some of you know what this does. Comment below and hook us up. So if you're sens sensitive skin or eczema, this is a box you want to try. Go down below and grab that coupon code and start now in summer before we get to winter and get your skin taken care of. It's your best asset and your biggest organ. We gotta love on it well. We have another one. Uh, let's go bounce over here. Honey Baby Box is another old goodie that I just haven't opened in a while. Sometimes I get a subscription and I open it back to back to back with y'all that I kind of feel like, oh no, I probably should take a break, introduce some new boxes. But Howdy Baby's been around for two plus years. Probably my all time favorite baby subscription box. This is the July Deluxe Box. It is monthly. They have two box options. The Essentials is 40, and Deluxe is 60. Shipping's $9 in the US. If you use code PINK5, you get $5 off your first box. And Howdy Baby Box is a monthly mommy and me box featuring unique products for you and your child to explore. Each box includes products for mom and littles. Age ranges from newborn to six years old. Since my youngest is now nine, you can see why it's been a little more spotty being on the channel, but I love to gift it. And I love when they just send me a box so I could show it again, because it really and truly is one of the best boxes. I threw this down. <laughs> It's because I'm used to seeing it. Cute little cover on the top when you open it. So if you're gifting it, it's very gift worthy, very cute. Every box has a theme and this is this month's theme. And then they have lessons on the back that you can read with your kid. They always include this guy here, which is itemized of all the items inside. And then the packing materials actually reflect the theme. It's super cute. And if you have littles, save these. We have made so many different art things using these guys. I don't think they count them as a box asset. I 100% count them as a box asset and I'll show you some more of them. Oh my gosh. So see, now you can see why I think this is the cutest ever. Look at this crocodile t-shirt. That is so, so cute. It doesn't have a logo on it. It's by Citizen Vogue. Oh my gosh. I love this. I need a little boy to put this on so desperately. I used to have my nephew, but he's huge now. Uh, and he can't wear the cute stuff anymore. Oh my gosh. Cute, super soft little zebra. Oh, it's by Wild Republic. We own so many Wild Republic stuffies. They're really good quality. They're just, they hold up. 
They're super cute. <laughs> One of my girls will keep him for sure. Hold the phone. Oh wait, look here. Here's some more cute, cute. We'll sit right here. Look at these. These are awesome. Keeping with the theme of the jungle. I am so impressed. <laughs> Those are adorable. Oh! That's kind of therapeutic. Is this like a, like a poppet or whatever? They have that like, you know, does all the ASMR and all that. Oh look, here's some more. Here's some more. We got a little collection starting over here. Ooh. Sheridan smells like fresh mint, vanilla, and fruit. A botanical body lotion. Look how like fancy this bottle is right here. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mint, vanilla, and fruit. I definitely get the mint and vanilla. I don't get the fruit so much, but it's very relaxing, like a very chill scent. So this is mom gift. We're gonna set it over here. For the record, the this is the deluxe box at $60. I mean, I can't imagine that this is any less than 25. And the shirt being 20, we'd be at 45. This guy's 15, we're at 60, and we have this guy and we have this guy and the box isn't empty. So I think you're gonna see really quickly why I say the value on this box is outrageously good. The quality of the products is outrageously good. It's not obscure stuff, it's small business made or big brand. I love it. Oh my gosh, look at him. Well, you saw what Emma got in that first box. She is going to love this guy right here. How very, his whole body actually moves, look. How cool is he? Some more jungle, fun papers. Oh my gosh, there is so much stuff in the bottom. Washable eight count paint kit. Tea for tame, hair taming spray for tangles, static and frizz. My kids just asked me to buy some detangler and I just told them they're way too big for detangler. So they're gonna be really <laughs> excited to see that. And then what is this guy? The balance game, and it is a game for ages three to seven, and look how they have to balance it. So they literally have to stack it, and it's a coordination game, but it's made of all natural like wood type toys, not plastics. And then I love that they do this. The month that's coming up next, so August, they give a hint. So I'm gonna show you the hint for the August box. And so everything will follow this theme here. So let me take a peek at this real quick. Oh my gosh. So the stuffed animal plushie, this is one of the three options that you'll get. Uh, the beastly binoculars. And I was suspicious and I was correct. You paint your alligator. These two go, to say, go together. Bring the jungle to life with this fun craft activity. You paint your little wiggly wooden alligator. Super cute, million percent, recommend this for yourself or for a gift. It's a win either way. And I am so glad Howdy Baby it was back. We needed them. This is so joyful. Let me show you this guy, an oldie but a goodie. I just have my junk sack with me. There are actually three boxes they make, the junk box, the kids box, and the junk sack. Let's just dive into the junk sack real quick. So this is monthly at $27.99 and they do offer prepaid discounts. Shipping varies based on your location, but if you use the code PINKENVELOPE15, you get 15% off your first box. And the Journal Junk Sack is your monthly dose of journaling fun delivered straight to your doorstep. Journaling is therapeutic and provides a safe space to express your thoughts and creativity. Each box contains journals, office supplies, stationery, fun pamper products, and more. So we have washi tape right here. Then we have, oh, how many pages? One, two. Two pages of stickers. And this is kind of like the little sister to the junk box. So if you're looking at this one, you're like, yeah, I like it, but I want more. When you go to that website, go look up the journal junk box. You're gonna love that one. And I will show that one later because I do have it right there. This is a Hello Sunshine magnetic notepad. 
three super cute pins that are clicker pins. We have a, oh, the bookmark. And the bookmark are your journal prompts. And this one is for growth. It has questions that you can ask yourself and then steps to sharing and writing with your journal. Thank you for your commitment, a card, and then your actual journal. Very summary, choose joy daily. I love it. And at $27.99, it's something affordable that you can do each month. Um, I am terrible about journaling, y'all. I want to get better about journaling. I know I'll be able to identify areas that I've grown in if I will just write them down. And as an Enneagram 8 personality, I feel like I'm never growing. I should always be doing more. I should be going further. I should be hitting harder, more, 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 more. And I think if I journaled and could look back at where I was, I could better appreciate where I am and where I'm going. So that is something I've been noodling. And I do have, not this one, but two months ago in my journal junk box. That's my journal I got out. And if I'm reading a book like I'm doing my Bible study or something like that with the kids, I'm good. But just sitting down and journaling, ooh, I need to grow in that area. Please tell me I'm not alone. Lastly, I want to show you this. Entry Envy is a very complex subscription to break down for you. So if you want to learn all the ins and outs of Entry Envy, go up here. I created a dedicated video so you can check that out. Um, it is a monthly subscription that is a uh, decor for your entryway. All the price range information is down below, but I do have two coupon codes that you can check out down below also. Go take a peek at those. Um, but it's custom signage for your home and office with monthly and quarterly faux floral refills to conveniently celebrate holidays and seasons. So if you go watch that video, it's a full breakout. I am refilling my kit, my custom sign, it's on the front of my house and it's on front of the Pink Envelope Playhouse. And I wasn't gonna show you this because I feel like we talk about them a lot and then the designs were so dang cute. I'm like, well, I have to show you. So the theme is Life's the Beach. The instructions are right there and the photo on how you're supposed to decorate your sign is right there. Of course, it's just inspiration. You decorate however you want. Um, mine literally has a pair of sunglasses on here. And then inside, it has a cute little fruity drink. So I will place both of these on my sign. I can't, I need to look at the other one and see because I can't decide which one needs to go on the pink envelope playhouse and which one I went on the front door. And then behind those, I'll put this guy to add some accent. But look at these colors. I just can't, you guys. I think this is so dang cute. And of course, she sent fresh moss to put at the bottom of my sign. And then I noticed there is a pina colada recipe, a virgin pina colada recipe, a vodka soda recipe, and a margarita recipe on my insert that totally is like embracing the beach. So this is considered a traditional or modern kit right here. And so I have, well, I have four signs, two refill subscriptions. Let me show you this one real quick. Here's what this one looks like here. Once again, just inspiration. You don't have to do it exactly like that. Since I've been a member over a year now, typically I go back to my little stash and I pull an item or two that survived the weather and add it in because I'm a more is more girl. Oh my gosh. So that one had the fruity drink. This one has flip flops. It also has this like pink fan palm. The, the base is actually this woven material instead of a moss. And then what is in here? Stop, I think it's puka shells. <laughs> I do not know how she thinks of these themes. It's so good, it is. So literally, see all this here? It's got a steak on the bottom. So there's styrofoam in your sign. I'll push this in and let this drape over the side of my sign, maybe even across my sign. And then I'll put this woven material at the bottom to cover my styrofoam and have these here. I'm thinking this is gonna be the cutest on the pink envelope playhouse because the pink against the pink would be great. As long as it doesn't blend in, I'll let you guys know where I land. If you've been thinking about subscribing to Entry Envy, I would say do it now because now you'll, you'll get the August one and then you move right into September, October, November, December, January, which is fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's, it's like all the best of holidays. And because the last several hauls have been so, so long, I actually had like 
about 20 boxes, not even kidding you, that I wanted to include. So I'm gonna do three parts. Instead of having such a big haul, I've been so crazy busy with all of our fall releases. Decor stills, we did a big thing. My pink envelope mantle box is out in the open and in the wild. That was just so much work to get together that I was like, you know, for the August monthly haul, need to chill out a little bit. So I've got two more hauls coming that have about five or six boxes each. Uh, those will release throughout August. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can check those out. It's a great way to quickly learn about a box, see if you like it. If you like what we do here in the video, you can bounce over and check it out because I'm looking for boxes that are gonna save you time, save you money, and bring joy to your life. And we are aware that not every subscription box is for everyone, but I am here and Ben and Sabrina are here to help you guys find the subscription boxes that are best for you. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing August that you don't like melt away somewhere in this crazy heat and that fall comes soon so that we can start celebrating and decorating together. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all.